first trailer for Henry Cavill's Argyle just came out. And when they first announced this movie, I was completely taken with the idea. Henry Cavill, who was the runner up to play James Bond when they gave the role to, to um, I almost said to Daniel Radcliffe, uh, Daniel not Craig. Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel, uh, Craig. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Thank you. Very much <laughs> Very not Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> When they gave the role to Daniel Craig, uh, you know, Henry Cavill was the run-up, and it was going to be the super spy movie. All this kind of stuff sounded great to me. Well, they dropped the first trailer for it, and I got to tell you, I love it. Listen to this cast. Henry Cavill, Bryce Dallas Howard, Sophia Boutella, uh, Catherine O'Hara, Dua Lipa, John Cena, Brian Cranston, Samuel L. Jackson, Sam Rockwell, Ariana DeBoyce. I mean, I just listed off a number of, like, many award winners in there, and this trailer is not what I thought it was going to be. It's it's a very different kind of twist. It has a little bit of a Lost City, um, romancing, romancing the Stone, the stone yeah. uh, kind of feel to it. I love Bryce Dallas Howard. I am completely taken with Bryce Dallas Howard. I think she is absolutely delightful. And this trailer looks basically like everything I wanted it to be. Not to mention it's directed by Matthew Vaughn, who I'm a huge Matthew Vaughn fan. And... This just looks great. And I, I love the fact that they're building into the marketing, the fact that there's some kind of big twist. Because they say, when you find out the secret, or whatever it is, don't let the cat out of the bag. So apparently there is some kind of big monster. Whether the cat is like some magical being that actually opens a portal between realities, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but you might know I'm a bit of a fan of Henry Cavill, so I love this idea. This trailer looked fantastic to me. Again, for a first trailer, for a first trailer, I expect to be given a little bit better of an idea of the story by the time we get into the second trailer, but for a first trailer, I thought this looked great. I can't wait to watch this. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia chris you saw the trailer what did you think about it oh i love this well first of all too i hadn't seen the trailer when show notes went out and I went oh my gosh if john is having us talk about this so he can talk about a cat being thrown out of a open window in a trailer <laughs> it I'm survives have... unfortunately it's yes. it survives because cats are great that's why it survives this looks precious i love matthew vaughn's style i really ad the Kingsman movies, the first one, the second one. Not so much Kingsman. That one didn't really do it for yeah, me. Yeah, not me either. But I really like his style. I love that he's being reunited with some of his favorites too here with Samuel Jackson and Sophia popping back in. And Bryce Dallas Howard truly is one of those actresses who can do no wrong for me. I think she's delightful in everything. And I love that this trailer itself is a twist because when we first reported on this, we heard that there was a new spy movie coming out with Henry Cavill. And that was it. Yeah. That's all we knew about it with some other folks in there. And so I loved watching this Going, oh, okay, so it's going to be a, another Kingsman kind of stylized, you know, spy whodunit kind of thing. The John Cena lift there made me go, <laughs> okay, so we're taking some liberties. <laughs> and then I'm not going to lie, I love the John Cena <laughs> dual leaf uh, lift. I thought that was great. I mean, <laughs> if anyone could be lifted that way, and if anyone could lift someone that way, it's these two people. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I love the kind of twist that we have in this trailer itself of just having that. And sure, we have seen this kind of story done in something like a Romancing the Stone. But when a story is done over again and done well, because really when you come down to it, we've probably got five stories in literature, right? You mm. can go back and trace everything back to Shakespeare and then to Roman times, etc. When it's done well, it's so satisfying to watch. And I love these kinds of movies about assumed identities, big switcheroos, and I adore Sam Rockwell. There was a really great spy movie a couple years ago that a lot of people didn't talk about, um, where it was him and Anna Kendrick. 
and oh, right. um, he danced a lot in it. Um, <laughs> he dances a lot in a he lot. He dances movies. in a lot of things, which I love. But it it reminded the me of that. Really quick. Yeah. Like I had to like watch this a couple times on. The- it looks killer, and Matthew Vaughn does such a good job capturing yeah. all of that. But I I love when Sam Rockwell gets to just be <laughs> full Sam Rockwell. Is it just me, or is it like Sam Rockwell's career slowed down once he won his Academy Award? Because he won the Academy Award for three uh, billboards uh, outside of Ebbing, Missouri, which was brilliant. And he was so so good good in that movie. That movie is spectacular. But it almost feels like his career slowed down after winning the Oscar. Oh, that role, too, though. That's one of those roles where he's so good in it that it takes you a minute to remove the actor from the role. Uh, Yeah, that's true, too. Oh, I hate you and then it's but sam rockwell and he's wonderful he was president of so many planets you know i i got i gotta still stay in there for him we'll all right hey guys thanks so much for watching this video make sure you like the video leave a comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget we have a daily podcast called the john Campy show podcast available on apple podcast spotify or your favorite podcasting app of choice go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it